I want to teach you an easier and faster way. Now, first of all, this is 10, which is two values. Just pick the next two values. Uh, pick the one that 10 can go into. Now, the next two values here is 11. So 10 into 11 is going to be 1. 1 times 10 is 10. You do subtraction. Now we have 1 minus 0 is still 1. Now, 1 minus 1 is 0. So there is no need to write down this 0. The next step is to use an arrow to bring down the next value. Now, the next value here is what? 0. Making this value to be 10. Now you say 10 into 10, 1. 1 times 10 is still 10. You do your subtraction again. 10 minus 10 is 0. If you want, you can write 0. If you want, you can ignore it. Now, I see that what I'll do is I'll bring down the next value down, which is 1. Now, 10 into 1 cannot go. At this point, what you do is you need to be very careful at this point. Since 10 into 1 cannot go, you bring down the next value again here. Here becomes 10. Now, once you do this, mind you, the normal step is I'm supposed to bring down just one value and do my division. Now, since the one I brought down, the divisor could not go into it. I have brought down another one. That means I brought down one more. Now, since I brought down one more, I'm going to have to write one zero at the quotient because I brought down one more value before I did my division.